Well, 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 you are awesome. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, glad to have you. As you can see, we are in the fight, constant fight to get in shape and to stay in shape. We only have one life. Let's see how good we can build the body. Good enough to sustain us with the kind of lifestyle we wanna live. We got things to do. We got children to raise. We have sports to play. We have physical activities to do. We like to go out and about. We like to move around. We like to do this and that. So we have to stay in shape. First, get in shape, and then stay in shape, right? Two different things, two different things. And I'm gonna be covering this on this video, along with my Tuesday morning workout. As you can see, we have four exercises. And like I mentioned on all of my other videos, I usually do the same exercises or the same training day that my members are currently doing on training day number one, because we just started a four week workout regimen. Indoor boot camp, personal training, and online coaching. So with that said, welcome back, welcome back. Glad to have you. You don't even know how much this means to me for you to be here with me. I'm gonna try to motivate the heck out of you, try to inspire you, maybe give you some ideas. If, you're, if you don't have a workout regimen right now, you are wrong, you are wrong. Unless your physical activities, your sports or whatever is holding you accountable, is there for you, then you're good to go. But if you're not working out, you need to work out, ladies and gentlemen, you need to work out. You need to work out every single muscle of the body. That way you don't lose it. As we get older, we're already gonna automatically lose it. So don't lose it that quickly. You have to feed yourself properly and treat yourself at its time and place. We have four exercises. We have the power jumping jack. We have the reach out push up. We have the seated bicep curl and we have the bear crawl in and out with the backward run. Four exercises, a little bit different than what my members are currently doing. So, but I have to kind of just modify it a little bit so I can fit it for you guys. So I've already been in, in it at least six rounds. I'm gonna do two more rounds. I just did one round right now. So I'm about to go in and again in a, in a little bit. But other than that, if you're new to my channel, my name is Manny, glad to meet you. I'm a personal trainer, certified personal trainer, creator, owner, and lead instructor of Manny's Fitness Program. We specialize on online coaching, personal and group training for weight loss, muscle building, and overall better health and performance. If you need any help with that, make sure you hit me up in the link in the description box. My website is there. If you're watching this from my website, scroll down a little bit. We have indoor boot camp, we have personal training, we have online coaching, all that good stuff. So let's get into it. Before, before I did my workout, this workout that I'm doing right now, before I did this, I went on a four mile run. Here's the thing, getting in shape and staying in shape is a whole different ball game. Get in shape first, right? Get in shape. What does that even mean? What is getting in shape? What kind of shape? What shape are we looking for? Let's not make things complicated because it's not, okay? Here's the thing, you need to do some research learn learn your body composition what type of body type do you have ectomorph endomorph mesomorph what type of body type once you understand what's your body type what's the normal amount of body mass muscle body mass on muscle how much do you are you supposed to have to be in the normal do you have to be exactly on it no come on all right, and now we gotta figure out how much body fat is normal. Body fat percentage, percentage. Not just how you look, find out, find out. 
here's the thing. If you go just based on how you look, it can help you out. It can help you out. But if you're the type that wants to agree upon being in shape by having abs, what if you don't have abs? What if you don't have an abdominal muscle? An abdominal muscle group, transverse abdominal, upper abdominal, lower abdominal, obliques. What if you don't, you don't, you never really carried yourself throughout your lifetime in a physical movement that build abdominal muscle without even exercising? Because you can build muscle without exercising depending on how, what, what style of life you've been living. Uh, for example, let's say you like to swim or you, uh, you're, you work in construction. Construction carries a lot of uh, heavy materials. So a lot of leg muscle is built in construction. Is there any upper body here? And so more muscle uh, endurance, but yeah, there's an example. What if you don't have abdominal muscle and you're continually working out super hard or reducing your calories or you know eating clean and stuff like that but you don't see abdominal muscle you're continually striving to see abdominal muscle but you're not because you don't have abdominal muscle <laughs> so find out your body composition muscle mass body fat percentage that way you get in shape what does that mean now getting in shape means having a normal amount of muscle mass and a normal amount of body fat percentage everything else will fall in place now if you want a bonus on that now you start shaping the body up aesthetic what you know you want to build bigger arms bigger legs bigger glutes however you want to look right but before any of that is body composition so find that out first so once you know that you get in shape and once you get in shape now you stay in shape how do you stay in shape making it a lifestyle making it a lifestyle how do you make a lifestyle by staying consistent consistency is key okay you'll be able to do it without even trying as the years go by and it takes a while don't be giving up don't be trying to um don't be trying to think that you're gonna build that lifestyle just in one year it takes a good amount of time and depending on how consistent you were throughout that year if you weren't as consistent as consistent as you should have it's gonna take even longer stay consistent be around those that are in the same ball game those that are enthusiastic about being in shape being healthy uh you know and carrying themselves themselves in a positive manner all that all that is going to play a big role in you staying in shape so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and finish up this four mile run and i'll see you guys over at the facility all right so let's go let's keep going I got back this is the workout that I have for today pretty awesome mostly body weight a little bit of free weights right here feeling good like we should by the way thank you for all your love your support thus far I, I love that you're liking the videos every time you hit that like button that means a lot to me leave me a comment a question or concern down below let me know how you're doing if you don't like to write anything share with me your favorite emoji how about that Show me some love in that way, shape, and form. But uh, let's go into one more round. Check it out. We have one minute, 30 seconds in, and we're stepping up for one minute, 30. We're trying to do 10 rounds. We're at nine. Let's go into 10 right now. Come on. There it is right there. 12 repetitions each exercise. 
10 repetitions, four exercises, total body workout. And I actually have a little bit of time left. I still have eight minutes left. So I'm gonna probably add a little bit of, of a compound exercise. I'll go ahead and show you guys right now in a minute. But yeah, so like I was saying, get, get in shape, stay in shape, and live life. Live life. There's one saying that we have here on, on our whiteboard. It says, the body wants comfort and the mind makes excuses. That's always a reminder. That's always a reminder. The mind makes excuses and the body wants comfort. You have to realize that. You have to realize that. You have to understand that. Because if you don't, it's coming for you. It's going to stop you from getting in great shape. You're going to be prevented from enjoying your life as it should, as you should. Healthy, strong, energetic, being able to uh, perform all your body functions, mechanics properly, preventing injuries, so on and so on. And you might live longer, right? Unless God says otherwise. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my workout. Let's do a front squat shoulder press. We're gonna start with the 60 pound right here. This is a 60 pound barbell. So let's go ahead and try it out with this one first. And then we're gonna move on to the 70, maybe, maybe the 80. Let's see how we feel. Let's see. Let's see how strong we are on the front squat shoulder press. Come on. pounds pretty light let's go to 70 That actually felt really, really good. I'm gonna keep that one there. The 80 pound front squat shoulder press. Raise the repetitions on it. Maybe add a little bit of power push-ups. Maybe some crunches. And a little bit of a jog or run. That'd be a perfect structured workout right there. So there you have it right there, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you guys liked the video. If you guys like the video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget, hit that like button. Show me some love. And if you have a question, comment, concern, leave it down below. I love reading your comments, answering your questions, all that good stuff. If you've been a, if you just recently subscribed, you're a new subscriber, leave me a comment down below. Let me give you a shout out. And if you've been with me since day one, leave me a comment. Let me know how you've been. Let me know your support. Let me know you're there. And I'll see you on the next video. You guys take care. Be safe. Be nice with each other. Always and forever. Mind, 
body and stride.